At the Bureau of Meteorology, a group of scientists watchfully check delicate instruments to determine the seriousness of this renewed activity. I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows. Volcanoes. Stay cool. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Seriously, bro. Super bubbles. The super bubble has been captured. Volcanoes. 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 You're new here, huh? A volcano may be erupting off the Oregon coast, scientists say. Now, granted, scientists say a lot. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and listen and go, What? Volcanoes erupting off the Oregon coast? That's interesting. For sure. Axial Seamount, an active underwater volcano about 300 miles off the coast of Oregon and Washington, appears to be erupting. The colors in the image correspond to depth. Warmer colors represent areas of less depth. Volcano tax. That's how we stop these volcanoes. Volcano tax. Well, welcome to my wonderful series, Robot Arms and Underwater Triangles. Wait, that's not it. Oh, the series is called We Have a Volcano Problem. And now, it's hitting a lot closer to home than usual. We do seem to have a record number of erupting volcanoes. Wow, that almost makes me think of sex. Volcanoes are sexy, especially when they look like vaginas. <laughs> Okay, this article is by Carly Brosao from the Oregonian or Oregon Live. April 30th, which was yesterday, because today is May. 300 miles off the Pacific Northwest coast, the seafloor has been rumbling. Rumble, rumble. You want to rumble? I'm a rumble fish. Over the past five months, there were hundreds of small earthquakes on most days at Axial Seamount. Then, on April 24th, there was a spike. Nearly 8,000 earthquakes. The seafloor level dropped more than 2 meters. Temperatures rose. What? Temperatures rose? The temperature was rising. The seafloor was dropping. The temperature was rising. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Whenever the seafloor rises or falls, that's a scary thing. You know, or just weird or creepy or extremely powerful to show the mere movements of Mother Earth can rock a nation. Scientists believe an underwater volcano is erupting. An eruption is not a threat to coastal residents, researchers say. But they're not scientists, they're just researchers. <laughs> because the earthquakes are small, mostly magnitude one or two, the seafloor movements are relatively gradual. So they won't cause a tsunami. Have no fear, researchers are here. The volcanic activity has no relationship to the Cascadia subduction zone, which scientists watch closely for signs of a much larger and more destructive earthquake. Scientists aren't the only one, I believe everybody is, really. To Bill Chadwick, an Oregon State University geologist, the eruption at Axial Seamont was not a surprise. He had predicted it would happen this year. Wow, good call, Chief. He predicted the previous eruption in 2011. Starting to see a lot of similarities between 2015 and 2011. Would you agree or disagree, Dutch? Chadwick hopes the lessons he and his collaborator, Scott Nooner, really, man? <laughs> Because a neuter used to mean that, you know, you had sex during lunch. And um, I wonder if anyone's have. So I don't even want to start speculating on Scott Nooner's Nooners. Because that would be weird and unscientific. What we learn from the axial seamount can eventually be applied to volcanoes on land. Land volcanoes have thicker crusts and are influenced by large earthquakes and other nearby volcanoes. Among other things, so predictions are more difficult. Axial seamount is a pure example, if you will. It has relatively simple plumbing. Chadwick and other scientists watch the signals at Axial Seamount in real time via a cable laid out on the seafloor. Yep, Nooner was laying cable. The instruments that sent back the volcano measurements were installed only last summer, said Chadwick. He is also affiliated with NOAA's Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory. I'd like to ask him if carbon affects volcanoes. Volcanoes like this have very fluid magma that is supplied from below, seemingly continuously. It's like a balloon filling with air. The seabed actually rises. That's what we're measuring. Super sensitive pressure sensors can detect shifts as small as two millimeters, he said. The earthquakes 
that University of Washington geologist Bill Wilcock detected are caused by magma forcing its way through the rock, Chadwick said. Though the signs seem to point to an eruption, it will be likely it will likely be months before Chadwick it will likely be months before Chadwick can travel out to Axial Seamount to do the measurements that will say so for sure. He has a trip planned for August. Weird. Pacific Coast volcano. Fascinating. Dutch Sith wins again.